St. James's Club Morgan Bay Resort has become the latest in a string of major hotels to terminate its workforce. The hotel made more than 400 employees redundant officially on Friday, 31st July. This follows months of being laid off effectively in limbo, still under hotel's register but receiving no pay. Veteran trade unionist and president of the National Workers' Union, Tyrone Maynard, in a rare television interview, told News Force the workers wanted to end the uncertainty and to receive what is owed to them. So what we did, we went up and we had a meeting with the management of the company and we said to the company, well, look, if there is a serious level of uncertainty as it relates to the reopening of the hotel, we cannot leave our members out there, you know, in that kind of pain and that kind of uncertainty. So something has to give. We agreed with the company because we made the proposal that, look, they should pay everybody one time and we should move. Maynard says for the ever-swelling ranks of the unemployed, being at home with no income is difficult. He says the National Workers Union will not turn its back on the workers now that they've been terminated, but will continue to work with them, exploring all options. But the reality is that when you have over 400 persons at home, Without monies in their hands, it's not easy. And this is why when we were dealing with Coconut Bay, we took a similar position. We said, look, the best thing to do is to pay off everybody and let's start again. That is the position. The management of St. James's Morgan Bay Resort and the National Workers Union have agreed on payment arrangements for the workers. So in other words, they would pay a group of workers, you know, every bit that is due to them as it relates to severance notice vacation and having done that they will pay another group all that is 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 they entitled to in other words they're going to be paid in group but they will get all the money which is that i think at the at some stage they told us straight that that is what they would prefer they want all the money COVID-19 and the measures to mitigate its spread have dealt a devastating blow to the once vibrant tourism industry. With the stroke of management spend, in excess of 400 direct jobs were lost. Add to this taxi drivers attached to the hotel, the hotel suppliers and providers of independent services to the guests, and the true picture begins to emerge. Stanley Lucien for the HDS News Force.